Welcome everyone to the EDC for Fun channel. My name is Dennis. Thanks for checking out the video. Today we're going to take a look at what's inside here. Carrying my Devo Buzz today. Blacked out, titanium contoured handles, 20 CV hollow ground blade, awesome knife. And what we have is a CGRB Echo. This is a front flipper. Man, that felt really good. Button lock. Button's very smooth. Detent for the front flipper feels good. Oh, got to watch it with that big flipper tab sticking out. If, sticking out. if you go to thumb flick it, it might hit your finger. Definitely when you thumb flick it, it wants to hit your finger right there. So this one is rocking green micarta. Micarta feels okay. It kind of reminds me of Civivi's micarta. It's not really fluffy. It's not a ton of texture to it. With stainless steel liners that are a little bit proud. T6 hardware on the body screws. T8 on the pivot. Stonewash blade. This is a Ray Laconico design. The steel is AR RPM 9. Artisan Cutlery CGRB's proprietary steel. Kind of like D2. Got a deep carry pocket clip. Blade centering is spot on. Locked up nice and solid. No blade play in any direction. Very thin blade got some nice belly on it beautiful stone wash decent factory edge on there nice swedge on the top no jimping except for back here got a generous sharpening choil there the plunge grind Comes right about there. We've got that 90 degree shelf for the CGRB button lock. Let's check it out. Solid. That's actually pretty impressive. Works pretty well left handed. For comparison, we'll just take a look at it next to the Pyrite. And we'll look at it next to a PM2. We'll take a look at this guy next to the Kaiser Hiccup. I think this is a really good comparison. So we have another front flipper button lock. The budget territory. I think these are a little more expensive, but as far as size goes, Got more or less the same amount of cutting edge. Get a little more upswept tip on the hiccup versus the gradual belly of the uh, Echo. Hiccup's a little bit thicker. The linen my card on the hiccup is way nicer. It looks nicer, it feels nicer. And I like the way they blacked out the hardware too. They both have swedges on the blade, but this one just looks cooler. This is the Anzo design on the Hiccup, Laconico design on the Echo. Both have loop over deep carry clips. Looks like the hiccup's a little bit thicker. Yeah. Relatively similar build quality and feel. Got more of a neutral handle on the hiccup, but still has that little bit of a swell on the back. This one's got a much larger swell. 
So that does actually feel really nice in the hand. This one has enough swell that it fills it all right. When you're bearing down on it, you definitely feel like you've got more grip on the Echo. I also don't really like the way the blade juts out like that. I don't know, it just gives it this kind of weird pear shape. I don't really care for that. That's pretty subjective. You might like that. I don't. And I definitely can't get over that point at the top. The way that sticks out is just not my taste. The way they did this front flipper tab, I really wish it was rounded over. I don't like the way the point looks. And not only does it hit your finger when you flip it over, but it's just not comfortable to actuate. It's easy, which is nice. With that being straight up like that, you've got a lot of surface area to flip against, but I don't think you really need it. If it was just curved over and, you know, knurled with the jimping and everything, carrying over the curve, it would be just fine. Like the way this hiccup is done by Kaiser. See the way that curves over? You don't need the leverage of that point on there. It's got just enough sticking up and then with the right amount of jimping, just goes super smooth. I mean, this thing feels like you're pushing against a little wall. Like I said, it works really well because it gives you a lot of leverage, but it doesn't really feel good to flip. I mean, this one just feels great the way it just rolls against your finger, whether you're doing it with your thumb or with your index finger. This one works, just doesn't feel as satisfying. Fills the hand very nice. Got about a three and a half inch inner grip if you're going from the top of the lock bar axis to this point here. That's gonna be where it's most comfortable. You could choke up on it a little bit, but that's kind of silly. You got enough handle back here, you can grab it. And the way it swells up here, feels really good. In the center of your palm. Would be nice to see some contouring. But for what I'm guessing is probably around a $50 knife, this is pretty good. For the price point, I think this is a pretty solid offering from CGRB. Definitely competitive, definitely gives you enough to feel good about at this price range. Fidgety. Seems to be built decent enough. Got a lot of the features that you would look for, especially at this range. And you got a top name designer there, so that's pretty cool. So I wanna say a big thank you to the folks over at Artisan Cutlery for sending this over. And I wanna say thank you to you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. Please leave me a like and a comment. Share the video, uh, subscribe if you're not already. Hit the bell for notifications. With that, have a fantastic day. God bless you guys. See you.